Yeah, so I thought it's, a, it's quite late at night. I wanted to make a quick video, something, you know. So I so to do something in Blender. So we're going to do some kind of like plastic shrink wrap on, on a letter or some kind of object. It can be up to uh, whatever you like to make. So we're going to add some text. Some text in here. And I'm going to press tab. And put a letter in. So now I'll just put the letter G. You can put whatever you want. It can be an object. It doesn't need to be a letter. Whatever you want. It could be a logo. It could be a product. Whatever you want to wrap. Anyway, so I sent the center the text. I'm going to change a couple of options on these. So I'm going to go to my font and choose a font. So I'm going to just go to list here. So I can scrub through. I like to use the font, the bold font, which is somewhere around here. There it is. I'm going to go to geometry. Let's do this. So, once you're happy with that, you know. You might want to add some bevel to this, so you got some round bevel, so you can increase that profile if you want. And tidy up to you. Um, add some resolution to that. And once you're happy with your letter, the way it looks, right click, convert to mesh. Next, what you want to do is go to normals and just sort test me. And you'll notice now these flat edges will look, look a lot better. And without it, you know, those normals it looks weird. But there we go. Anyway, once that's happened, you're happy with that, go to the physics tab on that and make this a collision object. And that's it, we're done with the letter itself. Next, we want to create a cube. So, mesh cube. Now we're inside this cube, and it's massive, so let's just go into wireframe. So it's a lot easier to see. And composition this how we want. Perhaps we want to center this more. So, I'm just going to go object center to massive surface rather than the actual form. Shift this more center so it's more aligned to the center. Anyway, let's break this cube down. So like this, bring this closer. Okay. Now I want to subdivide this. Subdivide, subdivide. So maybe one more. That would do. And let's see how this turns out. So now we're going to click this in the physics tab. We're going to say cloth. And on the cloth, you could increase the steps and the quality. If you like, I'm going to just put it to eight. And I believe there's presets here. You can choose some presets already done. Some of this silk level over this, but we don't need that. Anyway, we've got some steps. Uh, we're going to do shape. We're going to need that later in a second. But we want to do a collision to say say five self collision as well as on now the shape we need to select a seam so I'm going to just go into this solid right here edit choose an edge so I'm going to choose the middle edge here this loop and hold alt and select the middle loop now we're going to go here. We're gonna save this as vert this we're gonna save the selection. We're gonna click the plus button. We're gonna sign it. And if you double click the name, you can rename this. So I can just call this seam. So I know that's the seam of that, whatever it is, you know, rather than just be group one. You can name this what you want. Anyway, go back to the cloths tab. Uh, where is it? Scroll down. Where's shape? And we want to assign our seat. Now, if I hit play, we should see it start to collapse in on itself. Okay. Now, under if we if I press stop, it went. Now, under if we want to do pressure, want some pressure, and we want to do say minus. Let's start with minus fifty. Let's and then let's see it get a little bit play. There we go, now it starts to wrap more. Perhaps, maybe minus 65. Hit play. There we go. Once you're happy with that, I'll just hit pause right now. 
So we've closed the animation and then we're gonna go shades move. And it kind of doesn't look very, you know, very smooth right now. What we're gonna do is just, we're gonna just quickly add a subdivision modifier. Yes, where's subdivision modifier? Subdivision surface. Go, and now it starts to look a little bit smoother, you know, but we can't see what's inside the cube. Right. So let's make a material for this. We're gonna I'm gonna use EV for this. You can some people can use cycles, I wanna use EV. Um or both, it doesn't matter. It depends on what you want to do. But we'll just do both. We'll start with EV and then we'll go to cycles. But let's make a kind of like plastic cube. Uh, transparent material. So let's go to alpha. We want alpha. Wait, need this change this to alpha hashed or alpha blend. There we go. Looks a lot better. And maybe we'll line this up with the roughness down. One more metallic -y. And it's starting to look a bit more plasticky. So, um, of course, I can. Let me just change that environment. There we go. And now we can see inside. And it kind of looks like this, this kind of like in a plastic wrap. If I hit play, it just simulates a bit more. But there you go. You get the idea. Got this kind of plastic wrapped, shrink wrapped effect. You know, using the cloth effects. Um, Really cool. Now let's light this up and now you could you could easily, you know, run this off in V as it is. Um now just give this assign a material to this um, letter. You know, uh, and, you know, it could be whatever you like, green, green, blue, whatever. Um uh, doesn't matter. Let's create a little ground plane. Add the mesh plane. Okay. Place this down. Something like this. I'm happy with that. I could as well do this. Oh, make this a collision surface. So then this kind of sitting on it as well. If I wanted, uh, that's just an option. You know, and then you can also assign a material to this as well. So you know, assign color to that. And it's starting to look pretty good. So. I got this fantastic, uh, what's it called? Plugin from um, Blender Market with the Gobo lights. It's an asset. It's really an asset. It's not. It's not only. It's an asset of textures that is assigned to a spotlight. But um, you know, you just drag and drop them in, and it will light your scene up. So let's quickly switch to EV. So I'm gonna change my render to EV. Also, cycles from cycles to EV. So from EV to cycles, there we go. Great. Third time. I'm going to change this to GPU. Just said D Lois. Uh, there we go. I'll zoom in. It still looks pretty good. You know, it's just doing the denoising. But it's looking fantastic. And now you've got here in the Gobos, they have like all kinds of cool lights. So you can, you know, make it look a bit more interesting if you want. Or you can leave it as that. Um, I'm gonna just add in some of these kind of cool shadows or whatever it is on on these. Maybe I want. Let's see. Get to ge geometric. Something different. I want to drop this in. I can't see it right now, so I'm gonna pull this up. Go. This up further. And angle it. It's like looks like it's coming through the lights coming through some kind of window you know some kind of you know something over to the right yeah and the sun yeah and then on the light options on the spotlight I can can like just destroy this let's get rid of that and on the spotlight you know you can blend this Bit more. If I start to blend it, you'll see here the edges, the edges blend a bit better. And 
on the radius you can blur this out a tiny bit so it's kind of out of focus it's not in focus too much but you know it's for that nice detail yeah and it looks really good you know now you might want to play with what kind of colors go with what and that's really simple you can use something like a color wheel you know if you want complementary of colors or go with the opposite color um, entirely up to you you know so if we go for the yellow and the orange or you know, maybe orange and the purple so if we go there, if the purple was there so maybe my floor would be orange see how that looks and they kind of work well they do really work well um but there you go hopefully that will be useful of course you can render this off once you add a camera make sure you add a camera to your scene because if you try to go render render image it will just complain saying there's no camera in scene so render so you want to go to the add camera what i like to do is always um, do a split vertical split so if i hit zero this will give me the camera view and then in my work area here i can like position this camera where it needs to go and of course you can change all the camera options as usual you know like any other you know this is not really a camera tutorial or, or rendering setup or anything like that but yeah go and position the camera if i hit home on, on my left window fill that screen up we go and then that should allow you now to go render image and uh, you'll have a different uh, there are additional options you have to change as well on, on the render settings here right now i just did the viewport so the viewport looks fine so if i turn these the the viewport looks pretty good itself because uh, i'm doing the denoising in the viewport um however you have to set up your renders and you know you might pass just to look a little bit better you might have some noise but yeah Anyway, that's another, maybe another video. Thank you again. Enjoy your day. Hopefully it was useful. Bye-bye.